in, in the last video, I inserted a hero image and there was a placeholder image that was related to this. When you go and save the file after you've inserted a responsive image, it will ask you to copy dependent files. This is the placeholder image. You just say OK. Um, you're not going to use it, but it's just there for you as a placeholder so that it won't ask you that again. So in that, in that instance, just say OK, and it'll go away, that little pop-up window. So let's add uh, some text or a heading actually over this responsive image. So what I'm going to do is I've selected the actual image itself. You can see here it's selected. Next I'm going to go up to the application menu bar, go to heading, insert an H1 heading. And I want that before. And so I'll go ahead and double click inside there. It comes in with placeholder text. And this will allow me to edit that text. Go ahead and just type in Death Valley National Park. And I'll hit enter. Oops. I'll hit this tab out of it. OK, so next we need to make this relatively positioned. So uh, we need to do a few things. If I hit my up arrow key, I'll be able to select that row. And before that, I have the container uh, fluid. What I want to do is I want to actually add uh, my uh, ID to this hero image. So what I can do here is actually insert hashtag hero and enter. It'll ask me where I want to save that to. Again, you always want to save it to your valley.css. As you know, Bootstrap is read-only. So you should have created a um, customizable CSS file, independent file. I'll hit OK. It'll ask you to select the media query. And in this case, we want it to be global, so I won't select a specific media query size. Now in CSS Designer, I want to be in Valley as well, and again, Global. And I want to add a selector. Now because I have uh, my hero selected here, it's giving me the top uh, or a, a much too specific um, tag selector here. So what I'm going to do is hit my up arrow key. I only want hero, so I'll hit enter. Then what I want to do is in position, so in your layout category under position, I want to make that relative, so I'll select relative. And we need to also create uh, a selector for that H1 font so that it will float over the image. So what I'll do is I'll hit inside of the H1 tag, go back to CSS, hit the Add Selector. Now you'll see I have Dune Hero H1. I only want Hero H1, so I'll enter. And under Position for that, I want to make that an absolute. And you can see what happens there. It pops it on top of that image, uh, which causes another problem. We need to see the font color, so we can go ahead and change that here in the H1. I'll change that to white. And you can do other formatting in here as well. You can change the size if you'd like to. You can ask, add some uh, shadows, um, blurs. Um, you can position it wherever you want. So for example, if I want to position that closer to the middle, I can do that. I could also add some padding to the side. Um, so here you can apply um, any, uh, maybe a drop shadow or anything else that you'd like for that heading text.